Hi, I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be pressing one of our larger Unisub Chromalux. And this has some slightly different pressing steps, which we'll go over today. First, the items I brought with me are a piece of Unisub Chromalux, a couple of pieces of protective paper, some heat resistant gloves, heat tape. And this is a piece, I just grabbed a scrap, this is poly satin, you can even use an old t-shirt if you want to, but this is, this we're going to use, and this is what's different from pressing some of the smaller pieces, I'll show you what we're going to do with that, and the transfer we're going to use. And I'll show you another technique when we go to our transfer. What I want to do first is remove my peel coat on my substrate. And once we remove our peel coat, we're going to actually pre-press our metal. So let's move to our press, we'll grab a sheet of protective paper, and our Chromalux, another sheet of protective paper, and we're going to press for 60 seconds. What this is doing is the coating on the Unisub is going to completely dry, it's going to set, and so when we press our image, it's going to be nice and clear. Any kind of moisture that gets trapped inside such a large substrate, especially with the larger Unisub uh, Chromalux pieces, it can distort your image, so the drier, the better. 60 seconds, we're going to be doing a medium pressure, and I'm going to keep it there for 60 seconds. Once our 60 seconds is done on our pre-press, make sure that it stays in place. So it may want to stick to our press. Make sure that I move my metal. Keep that aside. It's very, very hot, which is why I grabbed the gloves. Highly recommended. What we're going to do next is we're going to do the hover method with the image um, this is especially helpful if you have just printed your image. You may notice that the ink is slightly still wet, so this is going to make sure that it, your image is nice and set. And again, the reason for this is in a special larger products that moisture gets trapped. So you may not need to do this on all your other images per se in sublimation, but this is a great tip when we do these larger pieces of Chromalux. So for the hover method, very easy to do. We're just going to go ahead and let the heat press hover over our image. Give it about 30, 45 seconds, and then we'll be ready to actually do our prep. Once our time is up on our hover, this is just, you can feel it, it's nice and warm and that ink is going to be perfectly set. Grab our piece of Chromalux. And we're going to line it up with our image, just as we would any size Chromalux. Secure it down with a couple pieces of heat tape. And we're ready to move to our press once our heat tape is in place. Now that we're ready to go to our press, Let's grab a sheet of protective paper and we're going to put this on the bottom. Grab our piece of Chromalux and we'll place it so that our image is facing down and then this is the separate part. This is where our poly satin comes into play. I'm going to put this directly over our transfer. This is supposed to distribute the stress on the product and again it's just a new pressing technique that we're doing and it's working out very well on our larger items. And we'll press for 60 seconds. Make sure that you check your size on your Chromalux because your timing's going to change depending on what size you're using. 60 seconds, 400 degrees, medium pressure. Sound means we're done. So let's lift and swing away on our press. Let's remove our transfer right away. Oh, wow. That is amazing. It turned out really good. 
And of course it is metal, so it's going to take a few minutes to cool. I'm going to transfer it over to the table so it's a cool, flat surface. And we'll show you the final product. This is the final product of the Chromalux, and I love the way it turned out. I think the image itself that we printed on here is great, but you can see just how nice and clear and crisp it is. The writing on the bottom is just excellent, and you can see even the light distributions on it. So I love the way that Chromalux turned out. And this is, again, this is how we're going to press our larger pieces, particularly larger than 11 by 17, and the hover technique and using the satin and also making sure that you pre-press your piece of Unisub Chromalux is very, very important. For more services and products, be sure to visit us at Condi.com and watch more of my videos at ConditeTV.com. I'm Virginia Condi Assistance, and thank you for joining us.